and welcome to Life Folio Trade School. My name is Nick Fenton, and I'm going to be guiding you through social sentiment. Now, social sentiment is a brand new feature that TD Ameritrade has folded into their Thinkorswim desktop trading platform. And it's a feature I'm very excited about, not only because it's powered by Lightfolio, but because it is a new forward-looking indicator. The only other forward-looking indicator that I'm aware of personally is implied volatility, which you see here on my lower chart here, my lower graph. And um, so adding a new forward-looking study to my charting is something I'm very, very excited about. Now I should mention that I'm going to reference TOS quite a few times in this video. TOS is just short for Thinkorswim. So anytime you hear me say TOS, I'm referencing Thinkorswim. So, what is social sentiment? But before we get into that, let me show you how to pull it up and plot it on your chart and start utilizing this awesome feature, which by the way, is only available in TOS desktop trading platform, brought to you by TD Ameritrade. So, if you don't have a TD Ameritrade trading account, I think you're going to have all the reason you need to go ahead and get one once you watch this video and you start seeing the power of this new tool. So let's go ahead and pull up social sentiment. First thing we wanna do is make sure we're on our charts tab here in Thinkorswim desktop trading platform. Then we go over here to style, down to settings. Once you're in settings, you're gonna to default to the general tab here. You'll see there's several different tabs. We wanna be on equities. Then all you have to do is under display here, check the fourth box that's show so social sentiment. So make sure that's checked, hit apply, hit okay. So now you can see we have a new lower study on our screen. So at the top we have our price chart. I've got a 200 day simple moving average in there as well. Below that we've got our social sentiment. Below that we've got implied volatility. But let's really put the focus on social sentiment here. So let's expand it as much as we can. There we go. Uh, so first of all, what do we have here in social sentiment? We have, of course, the header, social sentiment. We have mentions. So how many mentions of a specific company were made on a given day in social media? Then mentions are broken down into three categories, neutral, positive, negative, so we've got three different categories, a neutral mention, you know, one that's neither positive nor negative, then a positive mention, of course. We're looking at McDonald's here. So somebody might say something like, I just had the most amazing quarter pounder of my life. That would definitely be a positive mention. And on the flip side, if somebody said, I just had a cold and disgusting quarter pounder, that would obviously be a negative mention. So seeing these split up into three categories is very cool. Then we have sentiment. So the overall sentiment of um, mentions throughout the day. You know, in this case, right here, we're on 87.62 for this particular day, which is March 1st. That means about 88% of the mentions on March 1st were positive. So overall, that's a very strong sentiment for, uh, for McDonald's. So before we go any further, let me just mention, this is only available, the social sentiment's only available for consumer brands. And, you know, not every single consumer brand that exists, but the super popular ones right now are going to be adding more and more in the future, which is awesome. So if we put something like Qualcomm in there, Qcom, there's not going to be social sentiment. But if we put something like Nike, then boom, we've got social sentiment. Apple, boom, social sentiment. So all these big consumer brands that, you know, come to mind when you're thinking of consumer brands, they're going to have social sentiment. The majority of them will, at least. So let's go back to McDonald's and kind of walk through a few things here. So I'm going to make this big again. So we're looking at McDonald's here. First, we go back up here to the top. So we've got total mentions, neutral, positive, negative. You'll notice that in neutral, the number is blue, positive, the number is green, negative, the number is red. Then if we go down here to this chart, you're going to see so let's just focus on this particular day here. This is December 21st. And you can see that date if you just move your eyeballs down this cursor line, 1221. So you'll see that 1221. So at the very top here, 
when we go to the top of that particular day, from the top of the blue to the bottom of the chart, that's our total overall mentions. But then within that total overall mentions, we've got, um, we've got these three categories. So from the top of the blue to the top of the green on December 21st is going to be our neutral mentions. And then from the top of the green to the top of the red is going to be our positive area. And then from the top of the red to the bottom of the overall chart here is going to be our negative. So McDonald's case, you're going to see that uh, neutrals out, outpace or outweigh positives, which outweigh negatives. So overall, the uh, negatives are pretty, pretty minimal compared to the positives and the neutrals in McDonald's case. Then if we go up here to this yellow line graph, this is mapping out our sentiment. So you can see there's quite a bit of movement here in sentiment. So how do you utilize this data? For me, I don't really look at this from an intraday perspective at all. I have a much larger scope on this particular data. So, you know, I'm looking, you know, a month, two months, three months. Let me just kind of give you an example here. If we are paying attention to this McDonald's data, one thing I might notice is, let me just pull out my trend tool here. So we got a trend line tool. One thing I notice is right around mid-December of 2015, we had this spike in positive right here. And that was followed by a nice little uptrend in positive. So it was pretty flat prior to that, spiked up, and then we had this nice little kind of uptrend going on here. Now, coupled with that, I'm also noticing in the sentiment area, if I pull up my channel tool, we kind of had some, some really flat channeling going on here. And then all of a sudden we had this spike up and it kind of started to channel a bit positive here. So this kind of gives you an example of how I like to look at this data. You can't look, you know, there, there's a lot of there's a lot of action going on here in this sentiment especially. So you can't just look at, oh wow, it, it dropped from here all the way down to here. You, you have to kind of smooth it out visually. So I like to use this channel tool to just kind of smooth it out and look for more broader based trending going on here. So in this case, you can see a slight uptrend kind of going on here. And you know, prior to that, we just kind of had a flat neutral looking line, but along with that decent little uptrend in, in the sentiment, we have this decent little uptrend in positive mentions, all the while the negatives were staying a bit flat here. So we have pretty flat negative going on here. So I would say that this is a decent case to consider some upside momentum coming in the future for McDonald's. So let's take a look at what happened exactly. So we're kind of starting to notice this, but I really wouldn't have gotten alerted until right, right about, right about this area is when I really would have started paying attention, right about here in the stock, because that's kind of the that's kind of where I really started to see this uptrend positives be established. Um, you know, this flat negatives were established. We're starting to see a little uptrending here in the sentiment overall. So what happens with the stock price? Well, it has a nice little pop up and then it pulls right back to where it was. But here's where it's really exciting, right in this area. You know, we, we definitely saw a nice pop to the upside, some continuation to the upside, and it made for a really, really good trade. If you were able to catch this particular situation and, um, and play it, then you certainly had a forward looking indication that was telling you that there may be bullish activity coming in the future. In this case, in McDonald's, it certainly did take place eventually. So, I mean, there's, there's exciting ways to use this data. The main takeaway I want you to get from this particular video is to really look at the sentiment the way that I just showed you. You know, look at it from a more broad-based channeling perspective rather than just looking at all these up and down spikes going on. Try and smooth it out visually and that's where the power comes in. Also look for these decent trends here and discrepancies 
you know, we're seeing positives pull away from negatives. We're seeing them diverge from the negative. So that's a, po that's a very positive sign. If you saw the opposite, if you saw an uptick in negatives and then while all the while positives were flat, that would be negatives diverging from positives. That would be a bearish sign. And if you saw some, some channeling slightly trending downward in the overall sentiment coupled with that, then you'd have yourself a bearish signal and you may want to uh, consider shorting the stock or putting on some sort of bearish option strategy. So speaking of option strategies and shorting stocks, that's some of the stuff that I'm going to be talking about in future videos. So make sure you continue to watch some of these videos. I'm going to be talking about specific option strategies, specific setups that we want to look for here. I'm going to be taking price action into account. I'm going to be taking implied volatility into account. You're not just looking at social sentiment and making a trade based on social sentiment alone. You want to put together a few different pieces of information and see if you have a good trade opportunity once you combine everything. That's the real power of this social sentiment. It's one more piece of really strong, really exciting information that you can add to your an analysis. And once again, you can only get it at TD Ameritrade via the Thinkorswim desktop trading platform. So make sure you sign up for a TD Ameritrade account if you don't have one already. Special pro tip alert. Visit learn.likefolio.com. We've got more Likefolio Trade School videos all exciting, jam-packed with education, beneficial, actionable, awesome. Also gonna have a special brokerage offer for you, so make sure you visit.